Chapter 2, The Recording Process, Part 3. During this presentation, we will be solving the example on page 33 in your books. Let's do now the example you have in your books, page 33. Open your books, please, to page 33, and let's begin. Emma Henry, the owner of Clean Me Up Shop, just opened her business in January. During the month of January 2015, the following events occurred. January 1. Emma Henry invested $20,000 in the business. So let's think about it. When we invest money in the business, my cash will increase and my capital will increase. So how am I going to record this? I should debit my cash and credit my capital with $20,000. Why? Because cash is an asset. It increases in debit. And, cap and owner's capital is a liability, is an owner's capital, is an owner's equity. So it increases in credit. So my journal entry will be, first I start and then I put cash, $20,000 in my debit, and owner's capital, credit, $20,000. 2. January 2. The company purchased on account special washers, dryers, and irons serving as equipment for $15,000 by signing a 10% note for 3 months. Okay, we have two keywords that you have to take a good look at. First, they said on account. So we did not pay for the equipments we bought. We have to pay them in the future. So this is an account payable. However, in the transaction, they said they signed a 10% note. Whenever they say we signed a note, we cannot say anymore it's an account payable. We call it a notes payable. Since they signed a note with an interest, it's no longer an account payable. It's a note payable. Fine. And therefore, we have an increase in our equipment. My equipment's increased by $15,000 and my notes payable increased by $15,000. So my journal entry on January 2 is debit equipment for $15,000 because my equipment increased with $15,000 and credit notes payable $15,000. On January 4, Emma paid $300 to a contracting company that decorated the shop. So my cash decreased. And what else happened? My expenses increased. The decoration expense increased. So to, minimize, to decrease my cash and increase my decoration expense, I do the following. First, I put the date, January 4, and then I debit the decoration expense because expense is a debit account. The normal balance of any expense is debit. So the expense increase in debit and decrease in credit. And since my decoration expense increased, I debit the decoration expense and credit my cash because my cash decreased with $300. On January 5, Emma paid $1,000 rent in advance for the next three months. Whenever we say in advance, this is called prepaid expense, whatever the expense is. So since they paid in advance the rent, this is a prepaid rent. If they paid insurance in advance, it is called prepaid insurance. In this case, we have rent. So it's prepaid rent. Okay, this is point number one. Point number two, we paid. So my cash decreased, and when my cash decreases, I should put it in credit. So now I have prepaid rent in debit because it increased, and prepaid rent is a debit balance account because it's a current asset. So I have debit prepaid rent and credit cash for $1,000. On January 6, perform services on account for $900. Great. We perform the service. Service are credit account. They increase in credit. On account, which means I did not get paid yet. I will get paid in the future. So this is an account receivable. Account receivable is an asset. It increases in debit. 
So what I will put now is debit account receivable and credit service revenue for $900. January 11, purchase supplies for $300 cash. Great, my cash decreased because I paid $300. And what else increased? My supplies. Supplies are assets. They are debit accounts. They increase in debit and decrease in credit. In this case, my supplies increase. So I should put debit supplies, $300, and credit cash because my cash decreased with $300. January 15. Performed cleaning services for a hotel for $3,700 cash. When I perform a service, my revenue increase. And my revenue is a credit balance account. So it increases in credit and decreases in debit. In this case, my cleaning services, they increased my revenue. And my cash increased by $3,700. So I should debit my cash for $3,700 and credit my service revenue for January 16, they paid a handyman $100 cash to repair one of the laundry machine. So what we did here is we incurred an expense. We incurred a repair expense and we paid cash. So my cash decreased by $100 and my expense increased by $100. So my journal entry will be debit repair expense, credit cash by $100. On January 20, they received a payment in full from customers of January 6. So what happened on January 6? Let's read again. On January 6, they performed the service on account for $900. So on January 6, I had debit account receivable, $900, credit service revenue, $900. On January 20, they said that they received that they received the full payment. What is the payment? $900. So, my cash increased by $900 and my account receivable decreased by $900. So, my entry will be debit cash for $900, credit accounts receivable for $900. On January 23, they performed additional service to the hotel, totaling to $2,500 on account. Again, on account is a key word. We performed the service, but we did not get paid yet. Since we did not get paid yet, it's an account receivable. I'll be receiving the money in the future. Account receivable is an asset. It increases in debit and decreases in credit. So when my account receivable increase with $2,500, I should debit it. So I debit account receivable for $2,500 and I debit service revenue by $2,500. Revenue is a credit account. It increases in credit and decreases in debit. So since my service revenue increased, I debit, two, I, sorry, I credit $2,500. On January 28, received $3,000 payment in advance for services to be performed in February. Great, I got $3,000. But what did I do to earn these $3,000? Nothing, I did nothing. This is a payment for me to perform a service in the future. So what we call this, we call it unearned service revenue because I did not do the service yet. It's a down payment. They gave me $3,000 to start doing the service they need. So when I 
get, when I have a payment in advance, we call it unearned service revenue. Unearned service revenue, if you remember, we put it under current liability in the liability section. Since it's a liability, it increases in credit and decreases in debit. And I received cash, so my cash increased by $3,000. Cash is an asset. It's a debit account. It increases in debit and decreases in credit. So what I have to do now, I should put debit cash for $3,000, credit unearned service revenue for $3,000. January 29, paid salaries of $1,000. When we pay salary, this is an expense. So, we paid salaries. My cash decreased by $1,000 and my expenses increased by $1,000. What I record is debit salaries expense for $1,000, credit cash by $1,000. Why? My cash decreased. Cash is an asset. It increases in debit and decreases in credit. So I put cash in credit, and my expenses are also debit account. They increase in debit and decrease in credit. My salary's expense increase, so I put them in debit for $1,000. January 30, received and paid utilities bill of $300. First, let's define utilities bill. Utilities bill, in other words, utilities expense. Utilities are expenses that occurs always, such as, such as electricity, water, heat. Sometimes we also can add internet or uh, a telephone. So these services that are always coming and in small quantities, we put them all in one category, which is utilities. Okay, so what is the entry for receiving and paying the utilities expense. First, we paid. So my cash decreased by $300 and my expenses increased by $300. So I should debit utilities expense and credit cash by $300. January 31, Emma Henry withdrew $850 for personal use. When the owner withdraw money for personal use, this is called drawing. What happens when he withdraw money? First, my cash decreases. In this case, my cash decreased by $850, so I have to credit my cash. And my drawings increased, and drawings are debit accounts, so they increase in debit. So my entry will be debit owner's drawings, credit cash. January 